In this video, we talk about partitions. Partitions. This is a very important part of linear algebra one. And there are three different styles of partitioning. We have matrix column representation partitioning. We have row matrix representation partitioning. And, and then I believe we have outer product, uh, you know, um, partitioning. We will talk about eat, uh, each, <laughs> not eat, sorry, each individual uh, representation very, very much, uh, you know, thoroughly and uh, with examples so that you perfectly understand what we are trying to talk about. So, so the first style, as I said, of partitioning is called matrix. So we have matrix column, column representation. This, as it says, you want to keep the first one as a matrix and you will, uh, you know, partition the second one into column vectors. So, so using, uh, you know, I just broke down the word and, and, and let me, uh, you know, write it down mathematically and then we will do an example. So let, let A be a matrix such that, so normally how we denote a matrix, we have, well, you know, the, this matrix is, a random arbitrary number at a random position with respect to row and a random position position with respect to column. The i is supposed to represent the row position and j is supposed to represent your column position. So recall if this is your uh, matrix A, then then this position would be little a sub 1, 1, and this would be 1, 2, this would be 2, 1, and this would be 2, 2. All right, so the dimensions of this must be m by n. Not must be, I just chose those because those are the standard ones. And then we have a matrix B, again using the same logic. This i, j are just representing a random position in the matrix. And, and this little variable is supposed to show that we're not actually talking about the matrix as, you know, as the whole entity. We're talking about the specific number. So for for this, I'm going to make the dimensions not by m by n. I could, um, uh, or 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 uh, you know, the, the the only case where I could is when m is equal to n. That's how I could have m by n and m by n be, uh, you know, being multiplied. However, in every other case, when m is not equal to n, this needs to start with n, and that comes right out of the condition. And there is a special video for this. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, just head over to the previous video where I explained to you the special condition. Without the special condition, you will have a problem understanding a lot of uh, the, you know, the, the details of partitioning. So this needs to start with n. That's our condition. And, you know, let's just multiply this, you know, let's just choose r for Ratsy for my name. So Let's say I have these two and I want to multiply them. Then how do I do this? What we want to do is we want to partition. We want to partition our matrix B into column vectors. So, you know, this will be then, so the first column can be summarized in terms of B sub 1. That will be your column vector. And then you have B sub Two, and then you keep going all the way until R. The reason why it's R, recall that a standard matrix is M by N. And also remember in homogeneous and non-homogeneous systems of linear equation unit, we talked about how as we go down, we approach M. And as we go to the right, we approach N. So using that logic, um, you know, if these are column vectors and these, and that's one column, that's one column. If, if, you know, if this is approaching R, therefore the last column must be B sub R. So, okay. Now, once we have cleared that up, once we, so the first thing about a matrix column is to, you know, keep your first one as a matrix and the second one, what you want to do, you want to convert it, you want to partition it, you're, you're, you're splitting this up into column vectors. And then what you want to do, you want to then compute, then compute. Okay, so what, what you want to do is you want to take that vector and multiply it by your matrix. And you want to do it for every single one. So you want to compute A times vector B sub one and you also want to compute matrix a b sub two and you know you keep doing that up until you you know you know until you arrive to b sub r and 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 that's when you stop so 
after you have this so you know the, we could actually even put this into a matrix and that matrix will be you know a matrix that will be m times one uh, you know a, a long and 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 we what we want to do is that if, if you know our answer so a b a b will be equal to a b one then a b two and we keep going all the way to a b sub r this is very important and it can be very helpful depending on what sort of vector you have so let me do an example for you so that you perfectly understand what i'm talking about so for my matrix a let's make it a little bit complicated let's do a three by three one negative three two zero one zero negative two one and a negative one and for my the b uh, matrix let's do let's let me do one negative one two zero uh, three and then and then one so according to the first style of partitioning or you know solving multiplication with partitioning is to convert the second one so recall that i want to multiply a with so i want to multiply this with B, and you know I'm trying to figure out the answer so the first thing that I want to do is I want to splice or partition my second matrix into two columns or however many columns so basically into columns and so that we have so that we have our B1 that's one vector and that will be one vector this will be one negative one two this will be B sub one and then also using the same logic this will also be another vector and then what we want to do for this what we split it into two different pieces so the number one thing that you do is you first calculate matrix a times b sub one so let's so let me just do that so we have so i'm i'm i'm, I'm actually just going to put that a little bit downwards so we have matrix a matrix a times vector b sub one so this looks like this so we have one negative three two zero one zero negative two one negative one and we want to multiply this we want to multiply this with this vector one negative one two now from this what well, you know you can do normal standard uh, you know multiplication and you will eventually end up to uh, what i'm about to write and if you don't believe me and you know if you if you want to you know basically you know give it a shot you you can try matrix multiplication i have covered it in a different video and you will end up with so this will be equal to negative three negative two and zero then for and then after you do this what you do is you take your matrix a and you multiply it with b sub 2 so you know what does that look like that would be just matrix a so so this and then you just multiply this by your vector b which is um uh, one negative one two or i apologize that's not it this would be your b sub 2 so this would be 0 3 1 and again just to conserve time you know th th this will be equal to negative 3 and negative 2 and 0 if you need help with matrix multiplication just go into the linear algebra series and it would you know whatever number uh, you know th th every video has a number in front of it and uh, you, you just follow the unit and there's also a unit description i broke all the videos down by unit by unit please make sure to watch matrix multiplication because i teach you how to do this and you don't need to wonder how he must have gotten that uh, because you can actually do it and i just realized that i was too busy talking and i wrote the same thing one more time so let me just change this so this is not negative three two or negative three negative two zero this is a negative two four and negative one and once again I, I i really do worry that you might um, be uh, nervous or concerned with how i did this and you know just go back and watch the video on matrix multiplication because this video is just supposed to show you the partitioning 
So after you do this, what you do is you partition them back. So your AB, so let me try to make this smaller. Let me try to make this smaller. So there we go. So so your AB will be your two basically parts of this combined. So AB will be equal to this bonded with that. So it, it would be negative 3, negative 2, 0. And then we would have negative 2, 4, and negative 1. And it also checks out because the dimensions of this are 3 by 3. This is a 3 by 2. Uh, you know, these cancel. So this, uh, our final answer was supposed to be 3 by 2. 1, 2, 3 by 2. So, you know, this does seem to check out by our, you know, normal rule. So, you know, that's how you do matrix column representation. Once again, I am worried that you might be a little bit concerned with matrix multiplication. Don't don't be worried just go back and watch the video that i you know where i covered matrix multiplication now the second type of you know the, 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 the partitioning is called a row let me write it down it's called a row matrix representation of partitioning so this one, um, you know, is follows kind of a similar trend. However, it's as you can see, you convert the first one into a row and you keep your B matrix into a matrix. So we basically take our matrix A and what we want to do is we take it and we partition it into rows. So what does that mean? And we would have basically row vectors if you if you want to call those uh, row vectors. I don't like to call them row vectors. I just like calling them just rows. So this would be row one and then this would be row two this would be and you keep going all the way to row m i'm still going with my definition of my matrix a being a sub ij of dimensions m by n and i'm still going to go with my matrix b of being m b sub ij time uh, of of you know of the dimensions n by r Okay, so once you understand all of this, uh, what you want to do is recall how in the previous one you took your uh, partitioned uh, material and you started multiplying it with the other matrix. That's exactly what we're going to do. What we want to do, we start computing, uh, you know, uh, you know, our matrix B times row one. And you always want to put the matrix first, never put the row first. So then you have, uh, you know, your matrix B times row two and you keep going all the way to matrix B times row, row, M, that's where you stop. And, you know, that, that's essentially where you run out of, of, you know, room. After that, you, what, what you want to do is you want to just put everything together in the order that, you know, your rows, um, you know, are, are, uh, you know, associated in. So, you know, your final answer should be something that looks like, so row one or B row one, B row two, all the way to B row M. So let's do an example because you will best understand this with an example. So the example that I did before, let's just use the same one. If my matrix A is, uh, you know, one, um, negative three, two, zero, one, zero, and negative two, one, negative one. And my the matrix B is one, negative one, two, zero, three, um, one. What we want to do, what we want to do here is uh, per our second style of partitioning, we want to partition our first matrix um, in, in rows. So we have the first row. So we have this. That's our row one. Let me change my color. So this would be row one. This would be row two. And then the bottom one would be row three. So let me just write those down. So this would be row one. This would be row two. This would be row three. Wonderful. So after we do this, what we want to do as outlined in the procedure right over here, we want to multiply these with, with our rows. So we have a row one. Um, oh, and another thing, uh, the commutativity that we had for matrix, uh, for matrices, um, holds only for matrices. And since these are basically essentially vectors, you can switch them. However, I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, uh, you know, I, I would still go with the normal, con uh, you know, situation of having B, R, 
uh, sub 1 and then this would just be equal to so what's b b is b b b is or wait so let me let me write it there we go so we have b which is 1 negative 1 2 0 3 1 and we want to multiply this by 1 0 negative 2 and we will get from from this we we end up getting negative negative 3 and negative 2 then we do b matrix b times row 2 this is the same so 1, negative 1, 2, 0, 3, 1. This will be multiplied with row 2, which is 3, 1, 1. This will be equal to negative 2 and 4. Finally, we have our, uh, you know, row 3 times, uh, or, uh, you know, matrix B times row 3. This one will be, um, so we have 1, 0, negative 1, 3, to 1 and this will be multiplied with the third row which if you have been writing it down you know you would know that it's 2 0 negative 1 and this one will give you a value of 0 and 1 so again if you need help with matrix multiplication just watch the previous video this is just supposed to show you the partitioning part so when you want to put them together what you do is you put them all together so you have your answer for this would be, you know, B, R, 1, and then, and then uh, B, R, 2, and then B, R, 3. From this, what you would have is that the first one, the top one, as you can see right over there, is a negative 3, negative 3, negative 2. The second one was negative 2, 4. So that would be negative 2, 4. And the last one would be 0 and 1. So we have 0 and 1. And if you check this with how we did it with method 1, you would see, let me try to find it, if I have it somewhere here. Um, that, there, there we go. We have the same exact answer. The last style of, of partitioning is called outer product. This is very special as it, you know, you have already seen this and I and you have been using this procedure to, to you know, basically calculate uh, matrix multiplication. So what we do is we, for, so what we did in, a, in, in our matrix multiplication video was we squeezed or we uh, basically converted our matrix A into the row, uh, the, 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 yeah, into row, uh, you know, vectors, or you could call them row vectors, uh, you know, but, you know, basically rows, we squeezed all of them, all of matrix A into rows, and we squeezed all of matrix B into columns. What I want to do for outer product is we, I, I want to switch that. I want to squeeze uh, matrix A into columns, and I want to squeeze matrix B into rows, just to switch things up. So what we want to do then is to partition matrix A into column vectors, so we want to partition A into column, column vectors, and B into row vectors, into row vectors. Then what we will, will do is we will basically end up taking the dot product as we have done in the previous video. So let's just keep using the same example. Recall that we have 1, negative 3, 2, and then 0, 1, 0, uh, negative 2, 1, negative 1. And we're trying to multiply this with the matrix B, which is equal to 1, negative 1, 2, 0, 3, 1. As I have outlined it right over here, we're going to try to first split this into columns. So those are our uh, our three columns and we're going to switch this into rows so these are our three rows so let me actually denote this so this would be column or yeah let's just use c so c sub one column two and column three this would be row one row two and row three what we're basically doing is for the answer for 
you know, our multiplying matrix it would be, we're taking the dot product of, you know, row, row one, row one, row one, where, 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 did, oh, there we go. So, so, so column one and row one, and then adding it to, to, you know, column two, row two, and then column three and row three. And, and this is very important because th 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 this is basically the formula that will basically give you the answer. So let's do these parts um, individually. So the first one right over here tells us to take our column one and multiply it with uh, row one. So, so um, for this one, what we want to do is we have, so we have one and negative three, two, and we're multiplying this with, with one, zero. After we work this out, you should get, using the matrix multiplication method that I showed in the last, um, in a previous video, once again, this is probably the fifth or sixth time that I'm mentioning this. I just don't like when, when a teacher, you know, is talking about a procedure and, you know, doesn't teach it or doesn't, you know, explicitly tell us where we can find uh, how to do it. So I'm just telling you that in order to multiply these, you're going to need to understand the video that I did uh, for matrix multiplication. So please go back and watch that. So for this, we will get one, negative three, uh, two, um, zero, zero, zero. That's what we will get for this one. So, so for C2 times R2, let me try to make this smaller. Let me try to make this a little bit smaller. There we go. So, so for R2 or C2 times R2, what's our, our uh, C2? C2 is zero, one, zero. And we're multiplying that with that, a negative one, three. This will be equal uh, to the following number. So zero, negative one, zero, zero, three, zero. And this last one, C3 times R3 will be negative two, one, negative one. Then row three is just two, one. So this one will give you negative four, two, negative two, negative two, one, and one. Now, once you have all of these terms, again, following the, following the steps outlined by matrix multiplication, what you want to do is you want to add them. So AB would be equal to this plus that plus that. So it would be one, um, zero, negative three, zero, two, zero, plus, zero, zero, negative one, three, zero, zero, plus negative four, negative two, two, one, negative two, one. Now you just add them up. You add them up. So you will have, so one plus zero plus negative four will give you negative three. Zero plus zero plus negative two will give you negative two. Negative three minus one, negative four, negative four plus two, negative two. Zero plus three plus one, four. Two plus zero plus negative two, zero. Zero plus zero plus one is one. So this should be our answer. And if we go back, if we dare to go back, that was exactly the answer that we got with our second uh, procedure and our first procedure of partitioning. So one takeaway that you should have from this video is it doesn't matter what style of partitioning you use, you should still end up to, you know, with the same answer. If you need help with the matrix multiplication, just go back and watch my previous video on matrix multiplication. I just hope that you learned a little, uh, you know, or, 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 you know, the styles of partitioning were cleared up by this video. These are all different styles of partitioning. And, and in the next video, we will start a new basically concept of transpose. And I guess I will see you in that video.